Okay, I've had my go at the whole hipster aesthetic cafe thing. I'll bring it back a bit. Milk steams differently depending on the amount of fat and it being our main component here, we're sticking with a whole 3.25% consistency. So what you just heard is the steam wand blowing some bubbles into the top of the milk which aerates it and it lets it uh, produce the right amount of microfoam. You also want that milk to swirl in order to incorporate what has been aerated. A few taps to get any larger bubbles out and your finished product should look like wet paint. Before breaking down what I just did, I'll walk through some tricks to practice pouring. A quick trick is to remember low and fast and high and slow. Low and fast will create those big blobs of white where high and slow will bring out details and allow more control. Give another angle on steaming here. You want to get a little bit of air into the milk and then get it swirling to incorporate the microfoam. The first pour will be building your base. That'll get that nice honey color that you can build on top of. Aim for the middle of the cup and start low, pouring quick. Once satisfied with your blob, pull up and slow down and drag through the center to create shape. So for the tulip, I went for four pushes here, but you, it can range anywhere from one to, I don't know, 15 if you really wanted to. But you build your base and get that blob started. Only this time you'll stop sooner to pause the pour. Low and fast, pour another blob. And you could call it a day here and finish as you did with the heart, but here I'm just showing you, you can do a few more if you wanted to. Still finishing the same way. So you caught on, right? base, blob, but this time you're pushing it further down to the lip of the mug. This one goes a little quick, but while building the blob, you'll pull up a tad and get a wiggle going with the pitcher. Nothing too extreme, just controlled with your thumb or rocking in your fingers. Uh, pulling up to the top of the lip, you'll drop again to build a little blob, pull up and through, and you have yourself a rosetta. Everyone kind of builds their own technique and style when it comes to latte art, but once you get the hang of it, it can be pretty forgiving, and if all else fails, it's abstract. <laughs> Thanks for watching.